All right, hey y'all. So uh, I want to talk a little bit here about the different type of the two different main types of lenses that we have, um, so that you guys can kind of better understand how uh, you know the types of images that they produce, what they look like, and what that kind of means, um, whether or not they're real or virtual, and kind of the similar to what we did with mirrors, just knowing just generally how do they affect the things that we see. All right. So we have our two types of lenses here. This one is a convex lens. All right. You can tell. This will kind of focus here. It's a little hard to tell, but um, it's got two kind of faces that bulge outwards, right? Uh, and comparing that to our concave lens, which has its two faces kind of bulge inwards, it's kind of bold inwards on both sides, right? So if we look at this concave uh, lens, first those are two sides that bulge inwards, and let's see what this does to some things that we look at, right? So if I look at this little gnome here, right, we'll see I kind of add, no matter dis, no matter what the distance is, it always makes it smaller, right? Always still right side up, but always a little bit smaller, right? Now what that means is that the light waves are not actually coming from where we think that they are, right? They're actually coming from a different spot. If we look at this painting up here, right? That's the real image. That's where the light waves are actually coming from, right? But if I put the lens up there, it seems smaller, right? It seems like the light waves are coming from a even farther away point, right? So that's actually a virtual image there, and this is true no matter of how far away I put this, it always makes that image a little bit smaller. So that's the concave lens, right? That's what's happening there. Now, if we look at my glasses here, uh, these guys, they're actually gonna end up doing the same thing. If we look at this, right, it's always gonna make it smaller, always gonna make it smaller and farther away. So if you have uh, lenses for, I always forget this, <sighs> nearsightedness? Anyways, I can't see far away things, right? So these concave lenses actually help focus the light so it strikes my eye better, and we'll be talking more about that later. Um, this other type of lens, right, the convex lens that's bent out on both sides, right, if we look at this, um, let's see as I bring it closer, oh, it magnifies things, right? It makes it larger. So here we have a larger virtual image, right? It makes it bigger than it actually is, right? So. That is a convex lens. Now, something that's interesting about the convex lens is as I move this away, you'll notice it makes it bigger and bigger and bigger. But at a certain point, something really interesting happens. It actually flips the image upside down, right? Now, considering what that means, that means that because it's flipping the image, right, it's a real image. That means that light rays are actually coming from there and they're focusing and they're meeting somewhere in between, right, in between my camera and the lens is where those light rays are actually converging and we're getting a real image, right? Now, something that's interesting about real images that we've talked about is that you, if you put like a screen or something that you could project them upon or like a camera lens, you could actually capture them, right? So if I were to take my concave lens here and kind of put it up against uh, this piece of paper, right, you're not really going to see a lot actually happening. You'll see some reflection there, but you're not seeing anything being kind of projected on this piece of paper here, right? Until you get very close, and then it's like just, you know, the lens isn't even really there. Now compare that, right, to what we get when I use this convex lens. Here, right, you'll notice too close, you don't really see a lot, but you zoom out a little bit, and too far, and it gets blurry. But at just the right point, you actually see an image of what is outside my window there. So looking outside the window, right, like kind of focus, you'll see that kind of hillside with some trees there, right? And with this lens here, I can actually focus that and it's projecting a real image. Notice it's upside down, right? That has a real image of what is out there on the hillside. Now, the same thing can happen if you have a magnifying glass, right? That is nothing but a concave lens, or sorry, a convex lens. And I can do the same thing with that. Now, notice this one has a slightly different focus. It's a little bit crisper and I have to move it a little bit closer. It's a little bit smaller, right? Um, similarly, if your parents have some like reading glasses or glasses for when you can't see things that are close up, right, you can do the same kind of thing with this. And if we notice here, right, because of the two lenses, I gotta move that one quite a ways away. It's a little bit more dim because it's farther away, but you see that there's two images because there's two lenses, right, both focusing that image. Okay, so that's a little bit about conve concave and con uh, concave and convex lenses and how they work to actually focus light, the real versus virtual images that we end up seeing.